Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Mr. Joshua, with another Gundam MSAA review. <clears throat> this morning, I'm reviewing to you guys these little resin cast vehicles that I just got done doing for my buddy Joshua Gundamio. He wanted me to do 15 of them, and I did 15 of them. It was a pretty, it's a pretty interesting task for me. I just, I, I'm pretty uh, short on time when it comes to resin casting these days. And uh, it took me a while to get all the stuff. I actually started, like, right before Christmas. And I started doing these at least about, you know, once, twice a day and finally got them all done. But, um, unfortunately, with this little project right here, with every single one of these little uh, vehicles that I resin casted for Joshua Gandamio, is that, uh, you know, they all have uh, air pockets, every single one of them. And it sucks because I, I fucking did 16 of these, 16 and every single one of them came out with an air pocket in the very back. And no matter what I did, no matter how hard I tried, no matter all the vibrations I did to try to get all the, air, all the air bubbles out, you know, nothing happened. You know, it sucked so bad. But regardless of the uh, little air bubbles here and there, these things are pretty badass. You know, this is uh, one hell of a collection. After they're all painted and, you know, dyed and whatever is going to happen to them. But, um, over here, I just got done with his, uh, Gilgug shoulder pads and the, uh, what are they called? The little arm vents. And I even tossed a couple of extra pieces in there for my collection just for fun. So those resin, those resin pieces are done. Oh yeah, and the uh, heads too that you wanted. Yeah. He wanted, uh, 12 of the Gilgug shoulder pads, so I gave him, like, 15. Because I'm such a cool dude. But anyways, let's show you guys what I'm talking about with the uh, fucking, you know, air bubbles. Now with this guy, the air, bu air bubbles really aren't that bad. With the air bubbles, I'm actually talking about the ones in the back of the uh, treads on the wheels. Every single one of them are like this. And no matter, like I said before, no matter what I tried... No matter what kind of tactic I did, they just stayed in there. And sometimes the wheels in the front are fucked as well. But rest assured, with a little bit of sanding, creativity, and uh, you know some mold putty, I'm sure you can be f all these can be fixed. And this one's a little bit worse. You know, in the cockpit, there's actual air bubble, air bubble that was stuck in there. You know, it was pretty uh, discouraging to do all these because just every single one I did. No matter what I did, there's, you know, air air pockets. I got to the point where I just wanted to, you know, fucking destroy everything and be like, fuck it. I'm, I'm done with resin casting, you know. Like this one right here, this one right here was one of the ones that actually pissed me off. Like everything on here came out like almost perfect and then I started cutting off the uh, excess mold, well, excess resin and these little fuckers showed up. Big giant air pocket. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Fucking air pockets. I, I guess I can actually, you know, I, I can actually probably make a vacuum chamber for all of these. You know, but I don't, I don't, I don't really want to mess with the, the vacuum chamber because it's probably going to blow up on me. I have no idea what I'm doing with a vacuum chamber. And I don't want to put too much pressure in there and blow up my garage turn it into a, a fucking grenade or something. But anyways, you guys get the point, you know. This one right here is actually really bad. But, you know, it was me, Josh, fucking Nami could, you know, battle scar these or something, you know. <clears throat> but anyways, you know, all, all of these have little defects here and there, but for the most part, you know, they're nice. They're nice looking, looking vehicles. And, um... And I really hope he appreciates this. I think he does. And unfortunately, it's going to be a little bit more work for him to get all these, all these in perfect condition. I mean, I mean, it's not, it's not very hard work at all. It's just you know, a little bit of sanding and you know, molding. <clears throat> but anyways, I hope he, hope he really um, enjoys this little set of vehicles that I made for him. In my, in my opinion, if I had a chance to keep all these, I would, in a heartbeat. 
too exciting to say, but I have a squad, a, a squadron of them. But, uh, yeah. This is the end of my resin cast project for Joshua Gadami, and I really hope that he likes what I've done for him. But anyways, please like and subscribe to my page, and thanks for watching, and stay tuned for some more Gundam MSA reviews. Thanks.